Hey guys, it is Jess with Jess Smith Coaching and today in this video mini lesson, I want to talk about how you can find a career path that is actually going to make you happy, which is what we all want, right? So this might sound kind of funny, but I think a lot of job seekers start looking for a job before they are even clear on what they want. Right? So I have spoken with a ton of different job seekers and a lot of the times I will ask them, what is your vision for your career? And this question stumps them, right? It's a big question. It's hard to know. Um, but the problem with it is that if you don't know what you want your career to look like, you don't know where you want to be working, you don't know what types of activities you want to be doing or how you want it to make you feel, if you don't know any of that, it's really hard to navigate yourself into a job that feels good, that you're excited and happy with, right? So the question becomes, how can you start to become clear on what path is going to be the best fit for you? So I have a quick exercise for you and I want you to grab a pen and a piece of paper. So first, I want you to list out all of the things that you are doing in your current work that you enjoy. So put yourself in the middle of your work day and think, okay, what are the activities that get me excited? What are the activities that give me energy? Start making a list of all of those activities. Once you have those written out, I want you to think about work that you've done in the past before you had your current role, right? What were things that you enjoyed from that work experience that you had? And then the third category that I want you to list out is what experiences have you had with school, with volunteering, with any other scenarios where you got to do something that was really, really exciting and fun or it made you feel good or satisfied. So make a whole list of all of these things. Once you have this list, I want you to go back to the very top of the list and for each item on the list, I want you to ask yourself, why did I write this? What about this activity gets me excited, makes me feel good? So go through each item and answer that question. We're digging a layer deeper at this point. Once you've gone through all of the items, again, I want you to go back to the top of the list. And this time I want you to ask for each item, in what capacity do I enjoy doing this? So what is the setup? What is the environment that I need to be happy doing this type of activity, right? So I will give you one of my own personal examples back from when I was trying to figure out my own career path. I was an analyst and I hated it. So I had to figure out, okay, what am I going to do next? So I started with, okay, what do I like? I like people is what I came up with. But that is so broad, that is so generic, that could mean anything, right? A lot of us stop at that point, but we really need to take it a level deeper to figure out what it is. What is it about those people that I like? So that brought me to question number two. Why, why am I saying this? Why did I write that? Why did I write people? So for me, I love hearing people's personal stories. I love networking. I love making connections for people. For me, at the time, we had an intern on our team and I loved giving her advice and helping her advance her career, right? So that's getting a little bit more specific. And then the last question that I had to ask was, in what capacity do I like doing this? So for me, I love working with people on their careers in a one-on-one -on -one capacity. I love having really personal, intimate conversations that are back and forth with one person. I love coaching and giving advice in that capacity. So when we can start to identify things like this that bring us joy, what is the activity and what about it is making me happy, giving me energy, lighting me up? When you can identify those patterns, and the patterns will show up, trust me, they always do if you dig deep enough. But once you identify those patterns, then you can start looking for careers that will offer you an opportunity to do those activities and have those patterns in your daily life. So you can start looking at jobs from a different lens. Instead of saying, am I going to be a fit for this job? Am I going to be able to fit into that for them? You can start saying, is this job going to be the right fit for me? Is this going to make me happy? Does this align with who I am as a person? 
So I hope this is helpful for you. If you want more tips and strategies like this, be sure to follow me on LinkedIn, or you can check out my website, jess at jesssmithcoaching.com.